Question. How can I tangibly feel God? Really great question and very easy answer, but not so easy to do sometimes. Love unconditionally. You know, when my children were little, I remember uh, if they saw something, you know, we used to play that game match, or I think it was where someone was on one side and someone was on the other side and we matched things, uh, you know, the faces to try to see if they were the same. And so they got this idea of same, 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 same. And uh, they were so little that they could only like three years old or things, they just would notice when things were the same. And the way that you can feel God is to be like God. And I don't see that as blasphemous. I don't see that as unusual. I see that as what we came here to do, period. We came here to be like God. We came here to be unconditionally loving. And how that looks is you don't have to think, you just be present and you let the divine flow through you. You allow yourself in the mornings when you're by yourself to say, tell me where to go, tell me what to do, tell me what to say and to whom, and I will to do it and nothing more. That way you're not being overextended in the giving, you're receiving and you give what you receive and then it comes back to you. And there's this beautiful circular flow and you are one. And that's how you feel God. There's so many ways that people describe the divine as oneness, as completion, as love. And, you know, I do remember waking up and when I realized, truly realized from my firsthand experience of going out into the heart of God and, and, and experiencing what that is, it's pure love, pure love with nothing else, no division, no separation. And so when you give love purely, meaning you're receiving it to give it so that there's no superfluous extension from you that sucks anything from you or makes you feel any deficit in the giving, then you're in that place where you are the divine. You have a physical body, but that's beside the point because you have arms that can embrace and you have eyes that can appreciate and you have a mouth that can speak kind words and you have ears that can really listen and be present. All of that's beautiful, but the essence when you're being God, to know God, to extend God, and to experience someone else receiving God, being God, is there's nothing more powerful or important on planet Earth. That's how we overcome the separation. That's how we awaken to our truth of who we are that we are one with the divine, that this is a world that's non-dual and non-separate, and we deserve to be the light of the divine that we are, that we came here to be, that we were born to be.